Hey, it's Mick. G'day, Jim. How are you settling in? Yeah, good, thanks, Mick. Grass is doing well after that rain a few weeks back. Should be a good season. Well, might not be as good as you think, Jim. I reckon it's likely to be drier than normal. I'm actually making some drought preparations at my place. Drought preparations? But after all that rain, surely it can't be that bad. Well, I checked this morning, the last three months of rainfall is in the 20th percentile range for our area. The 20th percentile range? What's a percentile? Yeah, percentile. I learned about it at a workshop recently. So, to be in the 20th percentile range means the rainfall for this season is within the lowest 20% of all rainfall records observed for this area for this time of year. I'm still not with you, Mick. Here, I'll show you. This is a percentile map of rainfall for the last three months. This is us here. We're this orange colour, which is the lowest 20% of rainfall on record, or in the 0 to 20th percentile range. So for the last three month period, there's been low rainfall for this region, compared to the past. Oh, well, that doesn't sound good. But I'm still a bit confused by this whole percentile thing. OK, Jim, look at it this way. Over the last three months, from December to February, we've received 150 millimetres of rain. OK. But that's not the whole story. You need to know what percentile that falls into to really understand what it means. OK, and how do you work that out? It's all in the data here. These are the rainfall measurements for this region for every December to February period since 1890, from the oldest to the most recent. Right, OK, so tell me more. Now, here's our most recent three months rainfall, 150 millimetres. And here's a better three month period, 450 millimetres back in 2010. Now, if we rearrange these measurements from the lowest to the highest rainfall amount, you can see the last three months of rainfall is below the 20th percentile because it's in the bottom 20% of rainfall measurements. What? In recorded history? That's right. Percentiles tell us how current rainfall measurements compare to historical rainfall. Pretty handy, eh? So that means at the other end of the scale, the top 20% of rainfall years fall within the 80th to the 100th percentile. Yep, you've got it. And the middle value of these ranked measurements is in the 50th percentile, which is also called the median, where 50% of the values are below the median and 50% are above. Yeah, they were just talking about the median on the radio. <laughs> Rusty! <laughs> yep. That's because the median is a useful value for comparing forecast rain with the historical records. Let's see what it tells us about the next three months. March to May. So this map forecasts rainfall for the next three month period. According to the outlook for our region, we only have a 20 to 30 per cent chance of exceeding the median value. Which means it's not very likely that we will get more than the median rainfall for this period. So what is the actual median rainfall for that period? From March to May or autumn, 50 millimetres. A low chance of getting over 50 millimetres. <laughs> that won't grow much feed. I didn't realise autumn could be so dry here. Well, you don't really want to be depending on autumn rainfall to get you by. But hey, you've still got some time to make management changes given the feed we got from that recent rain. Do right. And thanks for the advice, Mick. By the way, where did you get this rainfall percentile information from? Well, there's a few sites for climate information. I like the Long Paddock website, but there's also BOM, the Bureau of Meteorology, and Australian Climate. That's great, Mick. I'll take a look. Thanks again. No worries, Jim. Better scoot. Come on, Rusty. <laughs> <laughs>